What's up, guys? Matt Modai here on behalf of DGF Fantasy, here to give you a six pick flex on a prize picks entry. When we get all six to cash, we will 25x our money. You can find me on Twitter at my Twitter handle, Jedi Modai. And let's get right into these picks. So, to find the six picks that I've uh, put into the entry, I used the DFS optimizer on the DGF website. It's an absolutely amazing tool. Makes it incredibly easy to find entries to put into a, or I should say find picks to put into a prize picks entry. Pretty much the way it works is you just select what platform you're looking for. And as you can see, there are a ton of different DFS uh, fantasy options you can choose. I just went with prize picks. And then there are a bunch of different, um, these are uh, e-sports that I just had filtered out. So I just kept in tennis, college baseball, and MLB just to make it as easy as possible because not a lot of books have um, odds for esports. So it makes it a little bit more difficult just to kind of talk through some of these picks that I found. The easiest way it, for this video, I'm not saying you should avoid esports e entirely. Just the easiest way for our purposes was to filter those out. So the way that the DFS optimizer works is it calculates these odds to hit percent that you see right here. And these odds to hit are pulled from uh, the kind of proprietary uh, DGF line that they use to price odds to a market. So essentially how it works is DGF looks at all the different sports books where they price odds, stuff like that. And then they assign their own proprietary line to a market using uh, the odds from different sports books, obviously giving heavier weight to sharper sports books. So if we pretend like we see for this one, this first one right here, the DGF line is minus 136. We see on the right here where all the different sports books price odds. Well, let's just pretend that the two sharpest are Barstool and Caesars. Well, DGF would give heavier weight to these sports books over the other ones, basically saying like, all right, these sports books generally do the best job at pricing odds. And I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying that it's Barstool and Caesars by any means. I'm just using that as an example. Well, if we use them to kind of set the line, set the markets, and we use them to try and uh, find discrepancies across other sports books. In this case, we're specifically looking at prize picks. Well, that's something that's going to be profitable in the long run. And then when it comes to prize picks, in terms of best bang for your buck, best value, uh, you want to look at five and six pick flexes and or either one is good. I ended up find, finding six on the DFS optimizer that I really liked. So I went with a six pick entry. Five is also good. And to talk through it, I can give you the first uh, play that you're adding and then talk to you about why it's good. So the first play is Rafael Devers to go under his total bases stat of 1.5. So to kind of read it, it's pretty easy. The player name, the stat, over, under, what book you're using, and then the sportsbook line. The odds to hit are calculated from the, D, uh, the DGF proprietary line. So that's what you see here in terms of odds to hit. This is the likelihood that this play is going to hit according to DGF. So I put it into a price fix entry. Raphael Devers, less than 1.5 total bases. So the way the payouts work for five and six pick flexes, the odds to hit percent that you want to be above is roughly 52.5%. It's right around that 52.5% number. The reason why, like I said, it's kind of based on how the payout works for uh, five and six pick flexes. Essentially, if you can get an individual leg above that 52.5%, 53%, that's something that will be profitable in the long run. It's kind of like your break even number, essentially, per individual player prop. In this case, we see it's priced all the way at 53.94%, so just below 54%. That makes it a good play to put into a price picks entry. And one thing that's crazy about price picks that I find fascinating is they don't like uh, charge any different juice depending on what individual play you're adding. So like I could add Devers over or under, more or less. 1.5 total bases. And it doesn't change my payout, right? Like we see right here, 20 to win 500. More. I change it to more. Still 20 to win 500. I could take him. I don't want to do it to mess up the entry, but I could take him out and I could add Jordan Lyles strikeouts. It would still be 20 to win 500. So when you're looking at prize picks, you're not necessarily trying to identify outliers across the markets, which is what you're doing when you're actually sports betting. You literally just want to look at plays that your percent odds to hit that are likely to hit above that 52.5% mark. Like for Rafael Devers, all these sports books we, we see has his under at the minus money, pretty heavily favored. 
minus 135 on DraftKings, minus 152 at Barstool, minus 135 at BetMGM and Caesars and Bet Online, and minus 130 at Bet365. Well, if all of them have the under as the more likely scenario, obviously they're going to have the over for like plus money. But if Prize Picks is giving me the same exact price, regardless if I take his over or under, well, that's a no brainer. You're going to want to put his under because more often than not, it's going to hit. I mean, it's going to hit more often than not. And that's kind of what we're looking for for Prize Picks. So you're literally just maximizing your win percentage, percentage excuse me, when you're using Prize Picks. So that's play number one Rafael Devers under 1.5 total bases. Next up, this is a player for the San Francisco Giants. We're taking Brandon Crawford over 0.5 bases. So we see that the DGF line calculates the odds, uh, the percent odds to hit is 53.88%. And then we see on the right here, similar pricing to where all the books have this one. DraftKings at minus 135, BetMGM at minus 135, Caesars at minus 143, minus 135, and minus 130. So all within this minus 130s range, and uh, DGF calculates the percent that this is going to hit at 53.88. So that is the second leg, Brandon Crawford, more than 0.5 total bases. Again, I can change it to less, and my payout is the exact same. But why in the world would I ever do that if all the sports books are telling me that he's more likely than not to go over? You're going to want to obviously maximize that. Uh, so that's our second pick. The third one is Luis Urias to go over. 0.5 total bases as well. This one is pretty much hovering around the same percentage as the previous two at 53.86%. Looking at the sports books, we see similar pricing across the board. Minus 138, this is on Pinnacle. Minus 135 at BetMGM and DraftKings. And also Bet Online, minus 130 at Bet365 and minus 143 at Caesars. So similar pricing across the board, heavily favoring him to go over above that 52.5% to hit mark, which is a great sign for us. So this is our third pick of the evening. Now, Connor Wong would be a good one to add, but I already have Rafael Devers for the Red Sox. So I'm going to go ahead and avoid that one. And the last three, as you can see here, are all going to be strikeout props. So I'm going to uh, just do it two at the same time because you kind of understand the process now. And I'm going to talk about this Reese Olsen one last because it's a little bit different why this one has value. But Hunter Brown over five and a half strikeouts, giving a win percentage of about 53 and a half percent. We see similar pricing across the board. Minus 135, 34, minus 135. All across the board, we see in the minus 130s. And that makes it Hunter Brown more than five and a half pitcher strikes out, strikeouts, a good play. Then our fifth one is Brandon Williamson, another strikeout prop this time. This time we are taking him to go under four and a half win percentage, still above that 53.37 mark. And again, we see across the board where all these sports books price it minus 130s, Caesars all the way up to minus 152. We see Bet Online down to minus 118, but pretty much if you kind of average it out in the minus 130s, which makes sense which makes it a good play to add. Brandon Williamson, less than four and a half pitcher strikeouts. So our sixth and final play is this Reese Olsen one right here. Reese Olsen, less than five pitcher strikeouts. So let's chat about this one because this one is a little bit unique. So the play itself, as I mentioned, Reese Olsen under five strikeouts. The reason why this one is a little bit a little bit unique is look at the sports books, sports book line, excuse me, right here. It's at four and a half. And then we see where all the sports books price it, plus 110, plus 100, plus 110, blah, 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 to go under four and a half. So this is what is considered a line discrepancy. So we see how we have this box checked off, show DFS line discrepancies. Prize Picks has his line set at five, whereas every other sports book has his line set at four and a half. So we don't necessarily know what the sports books would actually price his under five number. But what we do know is that all of the sports books think that think that he is more often than not, more likely than not, going to go under five strikeouts because they price it at four and a half. Sure, they do price it at four and a half for plus money, but that's still a half strikeout lower than what we got it at. So if it lands at exactly five, we will at least push our price fix entry, whereas all of these will lose. And that half point, that half strikeout prop 
is really, really valuable with how low these numbers are, right? Like if you're looking at like a, a player points market in the NBA, 30 to 30 and a half, not a huge deal. If you're looking at NFL, wide receiver stats, rushing stats, even quarterback stats, you know, Mahomes at 299 and a half versus Mahomes at 300. That's not that big of a deal because those numbers are so high and it's such a wide range. Going from four and a half, or if we're talking about his number of strikeouts, going from four to five strikeouts is literally a, a 20% difference for Reese Olsen. That's a huge deal, 20%. That's massive. So line discrepancies are another very good way to find uh, profitable entries to put into price picks, or I should say profitable picks to put into a price fix entry. It's not just looking at uh, when they're equal, you want to look at line discrepancies as well, which is what we found right here. And there are probably a couple different examples of that, maybe not at this exact moment in time, but as you're looking through, yeah, I guess I can't find, yeah, here we go. There's another one. Michael Walker strikeouts five to four and a half, stuff like that. So you'll see them from time to time. They're very valuable to take advantage of. Obviously, as I mentioned, you want to stay above that 52 and a half percent odds to hit mark. If you could do that consistently, you'll make money on prize picks. You have to understand that um, the payout being 25x means you only really need to win like 5% of your entries and you're making money. So you have to understand that you're going to, for all 10 you're going to you're gonna place, you need to win when one. You need to win one, excuse me, to make money. But I got a great feeling about this one. I think we got a winner. So I recommend going ahead and tailing me on this one. If you do, make sure to comment and let me know all that good stuff. Make sure to like, subscribe, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel channel as well. Thanks for watching and have a good one.